What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Texas Rangers versus Kansas City Royals Major League Baseball matchup going down Sunday, June 23rd, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and nerfies and my first five plays as well as plays I make throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, and lineup changes. So if that sounds like something, right, excuse me, uh, right now, $1,000 betters are up over $10,000 in the last three days. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and it's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, text Grand Slam to 443-780-5663 and we'll get you some more information but let's get to this one between the texas rangers and the kansas city royals the kansas city royals sending out alec marsh for the start in this one all the texas rangers will start max scherzer here i thought it was going to be saturday uh the texas rangers elected to hold scherzer off until sunday but now scherzer will make his season debut here and we talked about before he had a back surgery and then there was a setback in rehab where they were concerned that he was losing grip in his pitching hand. And now, they said all systems look to be go for Scherzer as he's ready to go here. Now, Scherzer last year, 3.77 ERA, respectable for, uh, for for his standards. You know, a little bit high compared to what we're used to seeing from Max Scherzer. But I'm sure he's just ready to get back out there and compete. We know Max Scherzer is a gamer, regardless of, of you know, how many runs he's given up in a game. And, uh... I think he has a decent draw for his first matchup here. Now, sure, is this a is this a daunting matchup? It could be. Is the Texas Rangers bullpen great? They haven't been over the last couple weeks. One of the higher bullpen ERAs in baseball, around five five point two. But the problem here for the Royals is that their offense has disappeared. It's fallen off a cliff over the course of this road trip. And right now, the Royals are just flat out in a slump. And that's all. That's all it is. Will the Royals get it back? I'm sure they will. They're still 42 and 35. They're still well within reach in the AL Central. They're entering action on Saturday. They're seven games back, um, and we're only we're not even at the halfway point of the season yet. The other issue that the Royals are having is besides the, the offense drying up, is that you have a pitcher in Alec Marsh who went from one of the most profitable pitchers in baseball to having his form fall off a cliff. The Royals have lost four of his last five starts. Um, it's, uh, it's asking me th uh, three of his last five starts and his form has just dipped to the point where he's got a 7.0 ERA in that five start stretch. The majority of those, he's given up at least four runs. He's given up even in the win. He gave up four runs in five innings against the Mariners. And in the three losses, he gave up five runs and in seven innings to the twins on the road, five innings in five innings to the Padres at home. And last time out, which might be the worst start of the bunch. Well, it is the worst start of the bunch, but really bad. Seven innings on seven, uh, seven runs allowed on seven hits over three innings of work against the Oakland A's, a team that doesn't necessarily, you know, isn't necessarily known for hitting the ball all that well and putting runs on the board. So the Texas Rangers have used this series to wake themselves up. You know, they blew out the Ranger, uh, the Royals in each of the first two games of this series, and I think they're going to get a morale boost with Max Scherzer coming back into the fold here. There's just not much of a of a bullpen disparity here. For me to be able to say I want to back the Royals in this spot. The Royals bullpen is five, ERA is 5.17 over the last two weeks compared to the Rangers who's at 5.27. Like I said even if Scherzer's on a pitch count here or even on you know an abbreviated pitch like a pitch limit. I still think the Rangers can do enough to get the job done in this game. Uh, like I said they've been the better team in this series and, and sweeping a team not always easy. But the Royals have shown me nothing in this series. I think they're going to be able to get back into it. Give me the Rangers in this one. That's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.